Right now the trailer is totally full of junk. Mostly uh, old console TV parts that I've from a, a machine that I've been taking apart and working on. Hey everyone and welcome back to the Teardrop Trailer Build Part 9. This is going to be a follow-up on some electrical work. I know I haven't made a trailer video in some time. The trailer's been finished for quite a while, actually. But there's a lot you guys haven't seen, so let's pretend like nothing ever happened and get on with the build. I'm sitting here inside the trailer. Uh, yesterday I was able to get two coats of varnish on the inside of the whole trailer. Now what I used was uh, Minwax, it's called One Coat um, Polyurethane, and so it says that it's as thick as three coats, uh, so I actually used two coats of it because it wasn't as thick, it's thick coming out of the can, but it dried not very smooth. So I ended up using three coats of that. So we're inside the trailer looking forward towards the front, and you can really see how the varnish has brought out some of the color and the detail in the wood. I'm really happy with it. There it is. Tape is off. On both sides. Now I made one little mistake here. I got uh, an area that I actually forgot to tape. So that's alright, we'll be able to sand it up later on. But other than that, I think it looks pretty darn good. So with the yellow paint finished, two coats on either side, that leaves us here. The lower woodwork on the bottom half of the trailer still needs to be varnished. And I'll show you how I'm about to do that. We're varnishing today the Verithane uh, spar varnish. It's clear gloss, so it's going to be nice and shiny when we get however many coats we get. When you're working with this marine varnish, or really any varnish in general, you want to use a nice quality brush. Don't cheap out on the brush because you'll end up with hairs and strands left behind, streaks, drips, all kinds of nastiness that could have been avoided if you invested in a nice brush. You won't regret it, I promise. But that's one coat on. On each side. And it looks good. It darkened things up just enough. But not too much. And I think it looks nice with my yellow. This stuff tends to darken up as it soaks in and you apply more coats, so just be aware of that. Um, you can tell the difference there. This is obviously a finished picture, and the colors have, have really changed dramatically, which I liked, so I was not upset about, but just be aware that it's gonna darken up on you, anything that you, you finish like that. This picture, you can really tell um, how much darker it, it became over time. Okay, so we talked about interior and exterior coatings. Let's talk a little bit about some of the electrical work that's been done. This battery box is where we'll keep our 12 volt battery. This is a marine deep cycle battery. It's basically meant to generate a little bit of electricity for a long period of time. This is what you want um, for, for any kind of camper build like this. This is a lock box. Um, it is sealed off to, to be stored uh, exterior on the tongue of the trailer. I did weld up all of the little holes that might have been in it. Uh, these are temporary connections, just for now, just so I can keep the lights on when I'm working on it and stuff. And that does lock up. I'll show you something I did here. So the basically all my wiring is going to be sandwiched in between the Luon and the aluminum, but I have these little junctions here. Uh, what I did was I have a cross member running basically where all these lines are. And so I just drilled a little recess out in there so I could pop those in so that the uh, aluminum can just go over everything nice and smooth. The wiring should be fine, but, you know, these stick out quite a bit. So I'm just going to tuck them in there. And they'll be good to go. So I have all my wiring squared away, tucked in. Um, 
If you have any critiques of my method here, I'm by no means an, elect an electrician. I don't have anything in here that's running with a lot of juice. I've got these two lights and the light in the center. And then uh, I have my power inverter, but I have that cable running out from underneath. So I, th I think these should be fine sandwiched in here, but let me know what you think. Uh, more so for other people's benefit if they see your comment or something. Uh, and they're building, maybe they can change things around, because I'm probably not going to change this, but... Yeah, let me... Let me know if I've made some... grievous error here. I got my side light on, I haven't put the globe on. I actually replaced the lights in these, they're LEDs now. So that's good. And this mount is going to be for a uh, center tail light. The license plate is going to get mounted right below it. Um, this is another uh, Model A. It's a 28 Model A light tail light. All right, well, you got a little sneak peek of some of the aluminum work there. That's going to be covered in the next video. I should be able to publish these right about the same time. I'm actually working on them both right now. So thank you for tuning in. If you've been waiting for any more of these trailer videos, I sincerely apologize it has taken so long, but I'm going to get this series wrapped up here, uh, hopefully in the next couple of days.